Hi guys, uh, before I begin, please excuse uh, my camera if it's a little shaky. You know, I'll hold it with one hand. I'm 73 and uh, my hand just ain't as steady as I used to be. But anyway, this is my Hewlett Packard laptop model number. 14DQ0052, 14DQ-0052 DX, and right now, this computer is on Best Buy for $159, all right, and it's, this is a, a white, it's like an off-white, okay, now this computer comes with the uh, Microsoft, uh, you know, S mode. Uh, I think S stands for security or something like that, maybe. So, if you want to install like Google Chrome, all right, like I did, and it comes with McAfee antivirus. I don't like McAfee, so I installed Norton. If you want to install them, then you have to disable the S mode. I'm not going to show you how to do that because there's, <clears throat> excuse me, Plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do that. And you, you do it by going into the Google Play Store or whatever. No, not Google, uh, not Google Play Store, uh, Microsoft Store. And it's irreversible. Once you disable it, you can't re-enable it, all right? So this is the computer, all right? Now, let's see how fast it runs. Oh, and I got to say, this is... Uh, Actually, my second video on this one, because the first computer I got was a piece of crap. It didn't do anything, and I, you know, I put a YouTube, uh, I made a video on that, and I put it on YouTube, but I took it down now, because this one is working. So I took a chance, and I took it back, and I figured, okay, I'll, I'll try one more, you know, for the price, and this one here, Works fine. I did have to reinstall Microsoft Edge for some reason. It would stop running. Okay, and I uh, installed Google Chrome and I installed my Nortons. So let's see how fast uh, we can get online here. Now the boot up time on this is only about 15 seconds. You know, of course I don't have a whole lot of stuff on here. And this computer comes with uh, four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. A 64 gigabyte eMMC drive for storage and if you're not familiar with eMMC drive what it is it's like a flash drive instead of a hard disk drive and it's faster than a hard disk drive but not as fast as a solid state drive okay so let's see how fast I can get on uh, Microsoft Edge There you go, that was pretty quick, all right. Let's see how fast we can get into Amazon. Amazon came up right away. Open a new tab. And let's try a speed test. And see what our download speed is. Now this varies. Uh, sometimes it'll download at 120. You know, it, it depends on what time of day it is, how much uh, you know traffic is on the internet. So my download speed is 86.6 uh, megabytes. So that's not bad. I can live with that. Okay, let's uh, shrink this and see how the camera is. Okay, so there I am taking videos of myself pretty decent camera and you can record it you know you can uh, take videos of it and excuse excuse uh, the lighting because it's a little dark in here it's getting dark in Chicago all right 
So yeah, the camera came up quick, quick it functions okay. And let's see, what's it come with? Well, I'm not going to go through all the apps, but you get solitary, go through Amazon right here, Microsoft. Comes with a year of uh, Microsoft 385. And one thing I want to mention, Microsoft is getting rid of, of WordPad. That was a free program. Everybody loved it. I use it all the time, you know, WordPad for processing. But this computer still has WordPad on it. So, you know, if you want to make sure that you get a computer with a WordPad, this has it because uh, the Microsoft 385, it's only free for, I think it's a year. I may be wrong. But it's an expensive program. It'll cost you 100 bucks. all right? So, my only complaints about this computer, oh, excuse me, the battery life is pretty good. It's rated at 11 hours. So, figure a little less, you know, if you do a lot of surfing or if you're gaming with it. And I guess you can run some lower end, lower end games on here. Uh, you're definitely not going to run a triple A game on this, you know, like, uh, Witcher 3 or Call of Duty or something like that. Forget it, you know. But for Solitaire and, you know, stuff like that, it's pretty good. And my only complaint is it doesn't have a, a power light indicator. All right. And let's see, what else can I say? The internet speed is good. This one boots up quick. Shuts down quick. Uh, like I said, on the first one I bought... I even restored it to factory settings twice and I still couldn't get it to run. So I took a chance and I exchanged it for another one and knock on wood, I got lucky this time. All right. So like I said, it's not going to blow you away, but for $159, it's not bad. Even at retail price of $178, it's not bad as what I was looking at there because, uh, Laptops have really gone up. Okay, so that's about it, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.